Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video where I am spilling the tea on a tarot deck. This week I'm looking at the Modern Hue tarot deck from Ritual Planner. Um, and well, let's just get right into it, shall we? Um, this is the box for the deck. It's your regular cardboard box. Um, it has some information there. So this is definitely not a collector's box. It is not one that I want to be carrying around in my purse anytime soon. Um, I should say that there is no artist information for this deck. There is a card that comes in it that has a QR code that, um, for me, it's not working, but it also has the website that you can visit and you can learn more about the cards there. Um, and that basically is the guidebook. It's, it's more of a digital, um, guidebook because there isn't one that comes with this deck. Um, and it tells you about the Ritual Society, which I can talk about a little bit more, but looking for artist information, there is none. So Sheila from Ritual Planner and Ritual Society, whose last name I cannot remember, Sheila, I'm so sorry. Um, I will credit her as the creator, but I feel like someone else was involved and I'm not sure who that person was. So I don't have that information. It is not on the website when you scan that QR code or go to the, or go to the site. Um, so unfortunately, I can't really say much more than I've already said in terms of the artist. But let's, let's look at the cards. Starting, of course, with Major Arcana. Now, as you can see, this is based on the traditional um, Rider Waite Coleman imagery. And it's, it's really cool because it's kind of like a watercolor version of those images. So it plays with color a little bit. Um, and it's just a different way of looking at those cards. So we'll take a look at all of these. So if you're someone who's looking for cards that are symbolic and traditional, but don't like the look of the Rider Waite Coleman decks, this is something that maybe you would like instead because it's basically the same, but as you can see, because of the, the watercolor, um, style of it. It is different and does have a different feel. One thing I will say about these cards, and I don't know if you were able to see these as I was flipping through, the numbers are on the bottom there. And if you're someone who does rely on the numbers or is using, you know, the deck to do some research in numerology, um, some of these numbers are easy to read and some of them are a little bit harder just because they're right under the name of the card. So I just wanted to point that out before I move on. All right, so let's look at one of these suits. So here's the cups. Pentacles. And if you can see on the bottom of each of these cards, the number and suit is written out. So it's very clear if for some reason it's not from the card itself, um, which card you're looking at in which suit. cards are a little bit slippery, probably because I haven't really used them yet and they're new. Um, so every time I, <laughs> I put one down after showing you, it slips and slides and I have to take a minute to kind of 
make sure they don't fall off of uh, the platform I'm using here. So here's wands. The card slipping and sliding is probably my biggest uh, thing against the cards right now. And that's something that I'm sure if I use these cards more, I wouldn't have that much of an issue with them. Um, and perhaps I should consider using these instead of the weight deck that I'm using. I mean, they're similar, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I did do a deck interview with these, and um, the energy's a little bit scattered because the deck is excited to work with me, and it just it's all over the place. Um, so I really need to use it to, to get my energy into the decks that it can be used because it really does want to help me um, take what's inside and, and recognize that so that I can bring it to the forefront. So it would be a good deck to work with. Um, so working with it would, you know, help to focus the deck's energy, as far as I'm concerned at least, and would also maybe prevent it from being so slippery. <laughs> um, so again, there is no guidebook, and those of you who've watched my videos know that I'm not a fan of that. Um, however, a, the images are so traditional that you could look at basically any guidebook to get the, to get the um, meanings of the cards and some info. The meanings are digitized, so you can go to this website to see the meanings of all these cards, and it gives you a little bit of information about major arcana and about the suits. Um, it gives you no artist information, unfortunately. Um, it does tell you a little bit about ritual society. So I, I do feel that as a member, even though this is not a video of me promoting it, that I should talk about it. Um, this deck was created by the creator of Ritual Planner, and that's Ritual with a W, um, which started out as a tarot journal. So if you're someone who um, likes planners, likes journaling, likes tarot, likes one or some or all of the above, um, I really recommend getting a tarot planner or journal. I'm not saying you have to get the ritual one, but I like it. Um, I started off using the Biddy Tarot one, which is fine, but I like the ritual one better when that came out and happened to find it right when it launched. And the creators of the Ritual Planner then created Ritual Society because they realized that the product that they had was something people wanted and that perhaps people who are into tarot would like a place to gather and talk about tarot virtually. Um, and this happened during the pandemic. So Ritual Society is a really great group of people who come together to talk about tarot and that has expanded to astrology and runes and um, witchcraft and um, lots of other things. There's a monthly yoga session. There's a book club. Um, there are classes. There are seven day challenges. Um, there's a lot going on in the society. Um, there's I mean, I mean, you can just go in and you can just chat with people or you can join some of these other things. Um, and as one of the things that they were doing is they had a tarot card meaning course where you're given worksheets for every single card. And through that, uh, I think, and I don't want to speak for Sheila, but I think that was part of how this deck was created because it was during that course that the images um, on the worksheet shifted from showing the traditional Rider Waite Coleman to the modern hue and the announcement of this deck. So this is something that uh, is an offshoot of the Ritual Planner and a Ritual Society. And RitualPlanner.com uh, actually has a lot of stuff other than the planners now. They have this deck, they have other decks, they have... Um, well, this isn't an advertisement for it. So just go to ritualplanner.com and see for yourself if you like tarot cards, if you like crystals, uh, if you like witchy things, um, check it out. 
And I'm going to stop advertising for Ritual Society other than to say that if you're interested, you can always join and you can ask me for a code and I can give you my member's code to get in as well. Um, so if you like this deck or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm happy to do a reading for you with that this deck or another. You can message me directly. You can comment below or you can email me to let me know if you would like a reading. My email address is info at spillthetealeaf.com. I also do tea leaf readings. And um, if you like this deck, let me know. If you have other decks that you want me to look at, let me know. And I thank you all for taking the time to watch this video today. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.